So here I am at the National Film and Sci-Fi Museum with uh, Jason Joyner, and here we are looking at all his vintage Star Wars uh, toys. Jason, tell me a bit about what we've got here. We've just got a bit of 70s childhood. Um, I wanted to bring out a little bit of the collection, um, and uh, we managed to pull out a lot of the stationery and pencils and pens, which I think everyone's really into at the moment. What's quite nice is that when we went back to school in 78, we went to the shops and bought this stuff, and it didn't even last a term. So uh, 40, 50 years later, you, some of the stuff's still in existence, which is just really nice to better share it with other people so they can see what was made. Lovely. What, what's one of your favourite pieces in the display in front of us, then, would you say? I, I, I do like some of the special offer packaging, um, and uh, there's obviously the rarities like the vinyl cape jower and the large headed hand. Um, but I think actually quite nice is the Canadian Chewy hand puppet. It's one of those things that's just so bad it's good. <laughs> yeah, that looks really funny. And uh, it's just quite fun. I'm a big fan of that. That's the Palico poster. Right? That's the big one, yeah, yeah. That's the small one as well, which is considerably rarer. And there you go. Look at that one. The poster set. Moving along, this is like the first third of the display. Yeah, we haven't, finished, like... haven't had a chance to finish the to toy display. We wanted yeah. to pull out a bit of everything. Um, so we still haven't got the Jedi figures out and the Empire figures out. But there's a, there's a good scattering of, of different bits and pieces there. This is quite nice, the Boba Fett in the French box. Um, again, the, the collection I have is quite vast, so we just didn't want to drown people with variants and things. So we just I, try and do a scattering of I, what was my, made. My, my eyes drawn here to uh, KP Outer Spaces. That's right. Fighter kite kind yeah. of uh, yeah. promo item I've seen before there. Yeah, it's a display item for the to promote the, the kites. And these are quite cool, the tube bars in both flavours. Only 2p each, so well, there you go. that's definitely pre-Brexit. Money well spent, and then uh, moving up here, I can, t I can immediately see some John Menzies stickers there. Yeah, I do uh, like my John Menzies stickers. Let's have a look at those. I, I look think at I've got those. about 20 now. And, wow. Uh, yeah, they're really tough to find, especially finding the boxes in good condition. That, that's that's the real trick. Um, but uh, no, they are, they are they're a moment of time. I, I remember them at the time as well. Lovely. And then down here, we've got another case that's... Uh, Full of uh, stationery yep. and, and soap and sandals. Yeah, the, sort of yeah, things, exactly. Yeah. And these are the royal uh, uh, slippers, um, which were really quite rare. You don't find many of those. So, uh, but it's, again, the, the trading cards that we had as children that we laid on the backs of the, the on the backs of the cards and on the desks and made the big pictures up and stuff like that. So, it's a bit a bit of childhood memories, really. The, the good days when things are a bit more innocent. Well, um, that, that's a really nice, um, nice summary of your, of your vintage collection here. Obviously, you've got the main museum with all the, the props and costumes and guns in it. And uh, I've just been around and I'd highly recommend it to anybody who wants to come to Milton Keynes for the day. And I uh, wish you all the best success with your endeavours. Thank you very much. All right, cheers. Hello there. You may remember me from The Empire Strikes Back. Now, don't forget to hit subscribe and also click the bell for notifications.